my girl, yeah. someone out pop y'all shit. Hey. Work out the hey. 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 show me your mama. Oh, like this. Hey. Hey. What's up y'all, it's your girl Kiki and the wait is finally over and you'll never believe who we're kicking it with today. Your boy, the one and only J.D. Davidson. It's 90 degrees, 60% humidity and it hasn't even reached 10 o'clock yet. But your boy J.D. Davidson is in there getting at it with the strength and conditioning. So follow me to go check him out. Him, ninth grade, him go entering his 10th grade year. Never heard of him, never seen him before. He came, we've been kicking since then. He's a natural athlete, he's unselfish, has high basketball IQ, but I feel like for the next level, he needed to get a little bit stronger so he could take on contact when he drives and stuff like that instead of just bouncing off when somebody hits him and stuff like that. Hopefully I get a jersey on one day, I can hang up, yeah. Come on, come on, let's go. How was it, how was it growing up here in Alabama? Oh, that was cool. Not much to do when you're going off to other places. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> like what, you know, somebody like us who have never been in Alabama, like what would, what, what does JD do for fun? Like what do y'all do? You and your boys? Cause it's a big little clique of y'all. <laughs> what y'all do? Most, uh, some days, it de depends on the day. Weekend, we'll go out unless we'll have a kickback or a party or something. Mm -hmm. But do, during the week, we'll probably have a trail rides on the four-wheelers. We'll have hoop sessions and or either just play the game all day. It was different from from everyone. We were way ahead of the game. So that was, that's when me and my brothers, we took him by the, by the collar and dragged him on. Try to get him where he need to be, get him all the, the resources and things that we didn't have coming up. So my first time meeting JD, right? He pulls up with the or a jug of orange juice. Y'all ever know anybody that just pull up with a jug of orange juice? What's really going on? Yeah. <laughs> Is this like a daily thing, or you just feel like maximizing your vitamin C today? That's daily. That's daily. Every day you drink a jug of orange juice. I have my jug. On him? For real? No cap. <laughs> All right, so what are we about to do? Greens. 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 I've been saying. Greens. Oh, so Greens. Best in the nation. Best in the nation. Hold on. What you get? For me? I got the 10-piece miles. Let me go. No. What you get? Get the sweet. The, the sweet heat. The sweet heat? The sweet heat. Yeah. Get sweet heat. Yeah. You like, no, hold, hold sweet on. Sweet heat. Do you that like, sounds spicy. It's, it's not. Do you like, um, Sweetie chips. Oh no, you don't like the, the chips? Come on, you from Calhoun. I know y'all got that. 
They got it, but I don't eat there. Where do y'all get sweet? Y'all all get the same thing? Like, check y'all all gotta get different stuff so y'all listen, can like, oh, this is... Listen, listen. We did that one try, time. Try mm -hmm. this. Try the sweetie. One, one of y'all three. If you don't... No, 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 no. If you don't like it, I cash out. I'll pay for it. And you get the whistle. I cash out for you. Sweet eat and for your little pet. I just want you to try it. I do not. You like, you like... <laughs> try it. Talk about cash Try it. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Like, I was the same way. I'm straight lemon pepper. Lemon pepper is good. Point, sweet on it's point. Sweet on point. I love lemon pepper. Like, they have lemon pepper over it. You want to try that? Bro, sweet. I'm trying. I'm never going to steal you in the wrong direction. Just know that now. What we need to get again? Sweet need for brains. And if it's not good, what? I'm going to cash up everybody. Oh, you talking to me? I mean, not everybody, but you know, the people that try it, I don't like it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, sweet heat, bro. Sweet heat. I'm gonna try the sweet heat first. I'm excited to see y'all faces with this sweet heat. <laughs> <laughs> Who getting cash that? I'm gonna get the little one real. Right no, I gotta get it. <laughs> it's sweet heat, it's great. Oh, it's good? Ain't lemon you ain't taste, did you taste it yet? It's good. Oh, y'all mess with it. Ain't lemon pebble type, but we eat. But this. Yeah, it'll do. Oh, yeah. Dang. So, we about to go work out. We about to go to the gym. Some shots up before practice tonight. Uh, right? That's what we about to do? What we about to do there? We about to do like this little quick shoot round or? So how is the culture here at um, Calhoun? I mean, it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, uh, again, like when I came to the interview the first time. I called the principal and was like, hey man, I think I'm lost. Oh. He was like, what are you seeing? I said, I'm seeing a bunch of cows over here on the right, uh -huh. seeing some on the left. <laughs> he was like, you're on the right road there. Like, that's what we thought yeah, he said, there. just keep coming till you see signs that say the Calhoun School. I was like, all right, if you say so. This is a basketball school, basketball county, you know, because the other school, which they don't like me to say, so I'll go ahead and say their name, Central Hainville, the other uh -huh. school in the county. Um, you know, they, they have a great basketball tradition. So the whole county is basketball rich, uh, you know, traditionally. And all, you know, like we have now four state championships. I think they have two or three. So, I mean, basketball is what they do here in Lyons County. Uh, well, I've known JD since the seventh grade. Uh, I worked at a camp uh, thrown by my guys in Montgomery. And JD was a seventh grader. Um, and he had that hair then as well. Uh, and I remember him sticking out to me. He was like one of the only, one of the only seventh graders to uh, dunk a basketball. JD is a rock star. I mean, especially for the state of Alabama. I mean, he, you don't get any bigger than what JD is right now. His athleticism at the point guard position. Uh, I don't think a lot of people have seen anything like that. A kid that has over a 40 inch vertical, six foot three, fast. Um, I think that's one of the things that kind of separates himself from other people. You're not going to see anybody else out work, Jay. And I don't care. I'm willing to go ahead and say on any level. There may be a couple of professionals that have the time. And that's because they have the time. They may do a little bit more work than JD. I don't, college and high school, I don't think anybody out works, JD. If you want one of the most exciting basketball games that you've ever seen and you've never seen JD play, pray that we're either playing Greenville High School or Central Hangover High School. Those are our two rivals. Yeah. And you will leave saying that may be the best high school basketball player I've ever seen in my life. Because he's going to put on a show for those two games.
every game that he's played against those two schools, those have been the most memorable games I can ever remember seeing a high school kid play because he goes to a different level. You know, he's gonna give you five, six dunks. We played Central Hainville two years ago uh, when he was a sophomore. 13 seconds on the clock, he gets a steal. We're sitting at 98 points, and next thing you know, he goes between the legs. And I was like, oh. You know, I kept my composure, but I was like, inside, like, oh my God. I was like, this is amazing. I mean, if you were blessed to go to a game, you'll see it. Everybody's on the sidelines. When he does a move or dunk, everybody running on the floor, and you can just see the kids, like, when he step into a gym. Um, anywhere he goes in Alabama, <laughs> restaurants, the mall, anywhere, people know who he is. And, you know, for us in Alabama, coming from a football state, you know, being only Alabama and Auburn, you know, us having a guy of that caliber, um, being one of the top basketball players in the country. I mean, it's just not for even where he's from, it's for the whole state. You know, I was talking to your coach and he said, you know, y'all sell out a lot of games. Like, it's packed in there and just y'all travel and it's sold out. And he said a lot of it has to do with you. So do you feel like that energy when you're playing and? Mm, yeah, I feel it, but I just block it out. I just go in there like it's a gym with nobody, not just me by myself playing, working, just working. Mm -hmm. So I just block everything, I just go out there and hoop. He plays the game the right way, at night in, night out, no matter what's going on. He never get out of character. He works hard. I just want to go out there and hoop, mostly. It's just me not putting no one in the mouth but myself. I just love to play basketball. It's just my thing. Listen, y'all, we at the high school of JD. This is where it all goes down. Listen, they were talking smack earlier while they was eating with the sweet heat. And uh, they were talking about king of the court. So it's about to go down. And it's full court. So who, who about to win? Me, of course. Me? Me. Oh, me. <laughs> Listen, JD wanted the mic for this, so uh, I think that speaks a lot right. for itself. I'm mic'd up. All right, <laughs> right y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. So listen, they about to go down. Y'all, y'all help me figure out who about to be the king of the court. It's about to go down. Period. Hey fool. Hey bro. I'm mic'd up. Come say something. Come say something. I'm mic'd up. He said, "Come say something." He mic'd up. I'm finna go on the beat. <laughs> hey, hey. That's a bump. That's a bump. Oh, two. That's two zero. Wow. Wow. I got two. I got two. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm gonna go full straight. 
Y'all heard it right here, home court advantage, baby. Oh, no, no, we're gonna start off in the camera. A hot girl summon out, pop that shit. Then we're gonna run back and then go in order. Y'all ready? Come on, bro. <laughs> y'all ready? Oh, yeah. Can y'all see? Oh, yeah. Everybody? For the countdown, I'm gonna be. Okay. Two. I don't can do it, cheat talk. Hot girl summon out, pop y'all shit. Work out. Show me your mama in the pole like this. <laughs> <laughs> it was good though. Hey, Chris need that last person. Hey, the way you turn, I'm gonna turn the other way. I'm gonna do it. Hi girl, some of that pop y'all shit. Work out the pole. Show me your mama in the pole like this. <laughs> Hey, I'm so beat. Hey, I'm so beat. Hey, I'm so beat. Hey, I'm so beat. Hey, I'm so that was perfect. So high girl, summon out, pop y'all shit. Work out, show me your mama in the pole like this. Hey, what's it up, though? Hey, All right, y'all. So listen, we had a great day. JD showed us around the hot and humid Alabama. Got a couple bugs in my face, a couple mosquito bites, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? We, what else? What we do today? We uh, got a couple king of the courts. I got me a, uh, hold up, hold up. <laughs> got me a shirt, a JD Davidson shirt. Um, oh, hold up, hold up now. On spot, on site. Got me a little shirt. Um, we went to Brands, and which is the best in the nation. Best in the nation wing spot. You gotta try it. And which what flavor is the best? Mild lemon pepper. Mild lemon pepper or sweet heat. Sweet heat <laughs> <laughs> or the sweet heat. So make sure y'all go to Brands, get some sweet heat or mild lemon pepper. But other than that, we had a great day. And um, listen, JD put Alabama on the map. So he has a great season coming up. So stay tuned and shout out to who? Marlis. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>